Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a uh, tutorial for uh, Thomcraft 4. So this took me a while to figure out too, but um, I'm going to be showing you how to use golems to automate uh, Essentia production. Alright, so first you're going to want to start off by getting your infusion table right here. You're going to want to make a golem animation core for decant. Decanting, I'm sorry. Um, let me see how you make it. Okay. With some kind of... So you put in a crucible blank animation core with aqua and vacuo. It's just five of each in a crucible. And a crucible is created by using a wand on a cauldron from vanilla Minecraft. Um, now what you're going to do next is create a golem. This is very basic. Um, usually you seem to put a block of the material inside of the crucible with four, I mean, I'm sorry, three essentia. So let's see what the iron one takes. I use iron. I mean four humanus, four modus, and four spiritus. So I already have some golems just to show you. I have this one here. This one is alchemy. This one is gathering, so let's say I drop, I don't know, one water jar. Go and pick it up and put it in the chest. Now what the alchemy one does is it automatically scoops the essentia out of the furnace. Preferably the top half. Um, I have automated this. Just throw stuff in. But first, we're going to infuse this. So let me just throw this golem down for this second one right here. Put him down right there. Um, next, you're just going to want to go over to the infusion table. Like I said, um, this is created by throwing a blank animation core in with one aqua and one vacuous. Alright, let's get started. I need to make three water bottles, okay. I'm not sure where my water bottles are. Let me see. Not here. Not here they are. I just need three whoops. Okay. Let's go and just fill them over here. I have a little pond. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm just gonna whip your wand out. Let me go get mine. I'm not sure where my wand is. My good wand, not the I think it's in the table. Let me see. Um, yeah, it should be at the table. Yeah, there you go. I core one, this is the best. So next you're just gonna wanna I I reckon you have the goggles are revealing on so you can see what's happening. And I'm just gonna right click. As you can see up here it's gonna start. I have to keep an eye on all the materials just in case one of them gets shocked and falls off. So let's just wait and we'll see. So you can see up here it's draining it, but we have to watch out as if a lightning shock, lightning bolt hits one of these it will fall off, and if it falls off and it continues up to that point, it's going to ask for more Sencha to, uh, I would say recover it at equal cost. So it looks like we're almost done here, oh maybe not, it takes a little, quite a while. I have to I've done infusions where I need 64 of each and I needed like 5 of those, so you know, that took a while. This one's pretty fast compared to the other ones. Okay. So, it's almost done. Looks like nothing has been shocked off so far. If you put a bunch of heads or um, just skeleton skull stuff like that around your infusion table, it helps it be stable, which being stable prevents. Um, these sporadic shocks you can see. Let's see right there. There's little shocks coming out. Those those can actually hit you. Alright, there you go. Now it's destroying the items and fusing them actually. Okay. Alright, 
Not sure what it's doing now. Oh, okay. There you go, there's your alchemy core. Just gonna take that. Go put it in my golem. Okay, and there you go. Now what you're gonna want to do, let's see, what's this guy doing? Ah, there's nothing. Alright. Let's throw some coal in there. We'll get these cracking into my drawer. Alright, what about you? What are you doing? Um, there's some coal and some glowstone. Alright. And we need to bind him. So from him, he has to go to there. All right, and we'll start filling them automatically. Now, what the, I re recommend is making a lot of these because you're gonna want to have uh, more mass production of this stuff, especially if you're trying to get um, awakened armor or just um, just trying to get a bunch of jars ready for a bunch of infusions. So, all right, let's wait. All right, I might have enough for some ice ore. I can do that maybe pretty unstable so I need to modify the altar okay uh, let me see what do I need the lux I need a spiritus yep I have spiritus and what is the last one always forget ah humanus okay so I oh, get yeah, humanus I gotta figure that out um I'll check my bag anything here I'm not sure if any of these have humanus. Golems must because they're created. Okay, let me, let me finish doing the jars. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing spiritus. No? Been cure. Where's that going? Ah, oh, the soul sand. I forgot. Alright, so now. Um. Hmm. I'm really not sure what Humanus is created from. Let me see. Get my meter. Okay. Scan a golem. See what comes out. Yeah, that's some Humanus, but I don't want to create a whole bunch of these. So I'm back in there. There you go. Put those in there. Void metal. Oh, scan that yet. With a filter. Okay, let's see what these give us. <coughs> There's not much to work with. Alright, well, the vis filter. Nope. Huh. Alright, let me check a good source for humanness. There you go. Oh, I already visited his page. Look at that. Um, oh, yeah, rotten flesh. Okay. So I do not know if I have any rotten flesh. Yeah, I don't think I do. Now it's cognito. Hmm. You know what, let me go check my friend's chest. Let me see if he has any in there. He might. There you go, yep. Oh, that's perfect, okay. There's plenty for the golems to work with too. We'll get about yeah, that should be good. Okay, looks like I need to add more jars. Looks good. So what's this guy running on? This guy got much? Yeah, he still has a lot. Alright, so I'll divide this up. Put that in the hopper. This one here, All right? Now I'm gonna let these guys finish up. Um, I will come back when they are done. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, hey, I'm back. Um, so let the golems do a little bit of work. Uh, I haven't been able to check. So what's the other golem? Oh, look at that. All right, we already got a bunch of humanists. All right. So you know, I'm just gonna scoop this up so I can start showing you the eye chore. So I chose the most dangerous, not the most dangerous, but it's one of the most dangerous. So I'm going to make a lot of I chore cloth because I need awakened armor as you can see because I have crappy armor. Um, it's not the best. Alright, so I need some of these. 
I need those. Nether shards, yes, I need those. Do I have enough? I do not think I do. Um, nether star. Diamond. You know what? I'm going to go check his chest again. Let me go see. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody has nether shards, so I guess I'm going to have to buy some. If I need them, of course, in the recipe, I gotta recheck the recipe. Right here, here you go. Yep. And oh boy, eyes of ender. I don't even have ender pearls. Alright, um, let me go check these. These aren't even at a hundred yet, come on. Alright, well, do I have any ender pearls? I don't want to have to stop the video again just to get some ender pearls. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna check really quick. Nope, no ender pearls. Huh. I swear I could have had some, but I guess not. Not even an eye of ender. Well, I mean, I could break this ender chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna break it. I could, oh, I forgot. Damn it. Whatever. Alright. So, let me go and check over here. Nope. Oh, let me check for no eyes of ender. Why does nobody have this stuff? So let me check over here. Oh, look at that, I have an... Alright, so great. I just need to go and get some... Whoops. Just need to go get some nether shards. I'll do that quickly. It won't take long. Whoops. On the top floor, I forgot. Alright, um, here they are, yeah. Just gonna buy a whole bunch. Buy some more nether stars, too. Ah, I got plenty, okay. Okay, so let's set up the infusion altar. This there. This here just to balance it out because like I said it's very unstable. And so it take a while for the um thing to start kicking in. Not kicking in, sorry, I mean um draining the essential from the jars. So alright. Put another star in the middle. There you go. Oh, I'm very one. Okay. Nether shards and shards. Okay. Nether shard and shard. Diamond. And I have. Alright. Alright, so this is the infusion. Um, I will make a part to the video to show you how to infuse it and what you can do with iChore. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.